Another benefit of adding glass bubbles to a composite in injection molding or extrusion is that we can improve cycle time, reduce the time for the material to cool down. Because we're taking mass out of the composite, uh, mass you don't have to heat up, you don't have to cool down, you can greatly improve cycle time. This is an example in injection molding where we're making this cabin air filter frame which is a carbon black filled polypropylene material that contains 20% talc. We took the 20% talc out and replaced it with the same volume percent of glass bubbles. And we looked at optimized cycle times in the injection molding process and, and saw a significant benefit of adding the glass bubbles. So in this graph, you have the different parts of the injection molding cycle. You have time in seconds along the top. The glass bubble cycle is indicated with the green line and the talc containing material, the old formulation, indicated with the blue line. So you can see there's a shorter period of time that we need to hold for post-pressure hold time. There's a shorter period of time for cooling, tool opening, and discharge. So on this 16.6 second cycle time normally, we're able to save 3.4 seconds. This is very significant if you're manufacturing a part 365 days a year with this machine. You can produce many more parts per, per unit of time. Also, in this table, you can see an improvement in dimensional stability. So the target dimensions are shown here for length, width, and height. With the 20% talc-containing material, you can see there's significant shrinkage in most cases and an increase in the dimension in the height dimension. For the glass bubble sample, we much more closely match the target in each case. So our change is, is, is significantly reduced, or our delta from the, uh, from the mold is, is much less with the glass bubble containing material. So all in all, we can reduce cycle time, improve productivity, provide better dimensional stability, and of course, still provide lightweighting, lower density to the composite material.